I'm a mathematics undergraduate student. And when I started doing mathematics, I got the impression that mathematics is something that has a really positive work-life balance in the sense that mathematics is something that you can do absolutely anywhere. You essentially just need a pencil and some paper, like if that, for a lot of the time, you can just do mathematics in your head. You really don't need anything at all. It seems like something where you can go out and you can travel all the time and you can do all sorts of fun things and positive things in ways other than intellectual and be doing mathematics and accomplishing stuff at the same time. Over the past few years, however, I've started to realize that this isn't quite as simple of a benefit as it may seem. It's possible that mathematics doesn't have a good work-life balance in any way at all. On the contrary, mathematics has certain qualities that make it not as good as you may think in terms of being conducive to getting to experience the outside world and doing the fun things that we want to do outside of work. I'm not saying any part of this because I've become disillusioned about mathematics. In fact, I'm as passionate about studying it as ever. I am beginning to realize that it's something that is very hard to escape. It's a full-time thing. One of these qualities that mathematics has that gives it this illusion is the fact that mathematics is extremely immersive. In reality, doing mathematical work, whether you're creating a new theory or proving results in an old one or just trying to understand something important, is really tackling an extremely large search space. As much as it may be an art, or it may be an adventure, or whatever else, when it comes down to it, it's still a computation, where you have to look through a massive range of possibilities, which is time-consuming, even when it's guided by your intuition. And to do this computation, you have to completely immerse yourself in the world that you're trying to study. Something doesn't become non-trivial to a mathematician until it takes a full immersion of their psyche in order to understand it or reason about it. And eventually, the objects that took so much immersion from us become trivial because we understand them better. No matter how much we work to understand what we're trying to study, we're always going to be seeking out the new non-trivial as the old stuff becomes trivial for us. And so mathematics and performing at our highest level when we do mathematics is always going to take a full immersion. Another quality that mathematics has that makes it problematic is that it is obsessive. I mean, we get attached to the objects that we work with. We want to understand them. We want to understand why something is true or whatever else about our theory that we're studying. Maintaining a better work-life balance or whatever else isn't as simple as saying, okay, I only want to do this during work hours. Because that's simply not true. Like, there wouldn't be a problem for mathematicians going home and being consumed by mathematics if that's not what they wanted to do. We are obsessed with these problems and with these objects, and we want to think about that. So, that's where the problem comes in. Even if you are able to go traveling or go wherever else doing whatever you want, when you're doing mathematics, you might as well not be completely in the real world because it is an all-encompassing and immersive experience. And because of the obsessive nature of doing mathematics, this immersion seems to begin to happen all the time once we become obsessed with whatever work we're currently doing. And that could mean a lot more than eight hours in a day. Because if you are thinking about a mathematical problem for 90% of your waking hours, then during those periods, which for some people are really regular, that means that 90% of your time of your life is not really spent in the real world. It's spent in this reality that you've created for your study. Although these constructed spaces might be 
exotic and interesting to study, we have to question whether we really want to be spending this much of our time detached from what's happening around us. The extreme end of this effect is the point whereby which we deprioritize reality in favor of our study. And this doesn't just mean not doing pertinent chores and whatever else, but if we are spending more time in a reality in our head than we are in real life, then real life begins to lose meaning and, and other aspects of it will suffer. For a tangentially related example, we can look at Paul Erdős, and he was a very famous mathematician during the 20th century. One of his concerned friends betted him $500 that he wouldn't be able to stop taking amphetamines for a month because he appeared to be highly addicted to taking amphetamines. Erdős accepted the bet, and he actually won the bet. He managed to do it for a whole month. But but according to him, mathematics had lost a month in this transaction because he simply wasn't capable of doing work to the same extent. And he immediately went back on the amphetamines after the bet was over. Now, from someone outside of mathematics viewing this, they might see Erdos's relapsing as a just a normal competitive behavior. You know, people want to be as prolific as they can, they want to accomplish as much as they can. However, thinking about this immersion that we've been discussing, another possibility presents itself. Perhaps Erdos kept taking methamphetamines, not because he saw it as a trade-off where he would lose out in his personal life but succeed in his academic life, but instead as a trade-off where he would lose out in his real life and succeed in his abstract life in mathematics, which appealed more to him because that's where he spent more time. I know that many more older and more mature mathematicians eventually have something that snaps them out of this obsessive and immersive phase like starting a family or any kind of massive real life commitment can cause them to tone down their relationship with mathematics to the point where they can, in a lot more of a healthy way, do it immersively for short periods of time and then come back to other important things. But for those people who don't have that, and remain that obsessive, and it continues to grow and grow, what answer is there for how they can reclaim their life from mathematics? Moreover, should they even want to? Is the abstract world that we're studying in attractive enough that there's like an actual debate on whether we should sacrifice aspects of the rest of our life so that we can live more comf comfortably there in our study. And I'm not talking about anything really bad. I'm not talking about, you know, not working, not making money, not being able to survive, not eating enough because you're spending too much time doing mathematics. I'm talking about just living on the line between what is socially acceptable and what would be really bad. I'm talking about people who are doing just enough else to get by and then spending the rest of their time just thinking about mathematics and nothing else. And if this is what makes someone or if this is what makes us happy, then I'm sure it is okay, but still hopefully we are able to strive for better. So the question is, what better is there? Well, the makeshift solution that I have so far is that we can try and embed our mathematical work in reality. If we can create some kind of hybrid of the two worlds, then maybe we will be able to appreciate both of them with a little bit more equity between them. What do I mean by this? I mean visualizing with your eyes open. I don't mean any kind of cliché thing where you're supposed to find like mathematical meaning in the world without around you. I just mean that maybe you can try and see both at the same time. Maybe you can try and do some people watching while you do a calculation. I think the most realistic way out of the habit of just obsessively doing mathematics and ignoring everything else around you is habit building. Focus on doing other things while you do mathematics. 
And this way you can do the things you enjoy and be in the world that you care about at the same time. Whichever one is which.